Hey, so uh, you mentioned the uh, RAM uh, rope access maintenance website. Uh, I went in and decided to take a look. And uh, okay, it looks like it's you know, it's built on uh, Squarespace, um, which is um, which is fine, I guess. But um, it probably presents some constraints uh, what you can do with it. Nevertheless, so like first thing, like I land on a desktop and all of the above the fold space is taken up by just like one giant picture, and then it just has your logo on it, and that's that's it. So if I'm not you know, super familiar with, you know, what this means. Like, there's nothing telling me, like, who you are, what do you do, and is this for me? Like, you got to have some sort of a headline and a call to action, usually uh, without scrolling, so the user understands whether they're landed in the right place and if it's going to help them solve their problem. Um, and then it just kind of goes into spewing off all of these services. Again, I'm not in the industry, so maybe it means a lot to someone in the industry and they right away, they get it. But like, it is basically like, uh, here's a photo, here's a logo, and here's just a list of bullet points. So it's, you know, it's not ideal for, you know, telling the user, like, what are your services, why they should buy them and why they should buy them from you as opposed to you know, the competition. And then, you know, the nav menu is kind of um, hard to notice um, up top. And then once you scroll down, like uh, you basically have no other options. Like you have to you know, contact and you have the learn more with no context, <laughs> learn more about what. Um, and then basically there's the training section, right? So then if all of these other things that are in the menu, they're hard to find i have to scroll back up to look for them and i may just overlook them especially if i'm on mobile um right so um mobile view well you do have the hamburger menu which is floating which is i guess okay but yeah so looks looks like it's a it's a you know a little bit better on mobile than uh, than on desktop but nevertheless the point is that it's not immediately clear if i'm not super familiar with what you guys do like what your value proposition is what's your unique selling uh, point and it just basically has a list of services and a quick about us and uh, just a bunch of photos everything looks like an instagram gallery right <laughs> um and then yeah there's um training so now, there's nothing wrong with a lot of photos, by the way. That's good. Now, um, I am a big fan of like looking at uh, competitors and sometimes not direct competitors, but like I know for a fact like this is a eight or maybe nine figure company that I I've met the owner personally a couple of times. It's a solar uh, rooftop company in the, in the states. So uh, what I like to do is go to these websites and uh, see what they're doing. Uh, you know and try to like figure out why this works for them right so they got like nice uh, phone numbers and they have like nice uh, nice value proposition and a call to action right here save my home qualifies right this is another um company i know that's a confirmed eight figure construction company um also they're you know utilizing you know right away uh you see call to action you know getting how to get in touch everybody's favorite roofing and solar company that's to, to me not not the best headline i hope they tested it but like it's not that and then you see like they have all the different services here the location where where they operate it's very important i guess for construction because like if you're if you don't operate at let's say i don't know uh yukon right like you you don't want to waste someone's time uh, and then there's of course there's a ton of testimonials uh and then you know very easy way to get in touch so these guys are heavy on reviews and testimonials as well right so that's another point that uh i wanted to bring up but yeah definitely i mean once you go deep into your uh, um, navigation like why us like it's kind of buried here right now that's the important like how to distinguish your you know money saving time saving from the competition i think that should be right uh front and center and then you probably would need uh, specific landing pages for you know, just, not just the home page, but like when you're going to direct traffic for your different training. So, you know, you're going to have a different training section where uh, you would run ads or advertise for just people who want to do training. And then you do the ones, you know, for actually con contracting. So, uh, 
hope this makes sense.